Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tut PC, and today I'll be showing you how to get, uh, well, not how to get. It's a tutorial on Camp Studio, so go ahead and open Camp Studio up. Alright, so let's get started. To get started, go ahead and click on the region button. And the region that you want is pretty normal, actually. If you select just region and you hit the record button, it'll ask you to select the region that you want and then it'll automatically start recording but I'm not going to do that so okay well now you see what region does um, but when you go to region again and you select fixed region fixed region lets you select a permanent region that is there forever that you can keep selecting for example, I select this, I hit OK, now I hit record, and this is what happens. I can just put this wherever I want, and just right click to get this off. Now, full screen is what it says, it's your whole entire desktop, it records everything. But, I'm not going to do that. So, next up is options. We're going to go to video options, and select the tools that I use for Cam Studio, which I don't use anymore, but... I'm gonna help you guys best out as I can. Okay, so it's open. First thing what you want to do is make sure this is selected as DivX 6.8.5 codec. But if you don't want that, you can always select the advanced profile. It's pretty good, but use DivX because it's the best. That'll be in the description if you just want to download it. And depending on how fast and not laggy your computer is, make the quality default or whatever you like I'm just gonna select 100 and for the keyframes these are my settings I don't know what other settings are like but these are mine okay so this is what I'd select set keyframes every 75 frames capture frames every 50 milliseconds playback rate should be 25 and to do that the default settings this auto adjust button will be clicked and these are the default settings 205 and 200 do not select that select my options I'm just gonna hit cancel and next up we're gonna pick audio no actually cursor cursor is the cursor you know mouse whatever and you can either show the cursor or you can hide it whichever you'd like you can use an actual cursor or you can use a custom cursor that it will let you select from a lot of choices or you can just select one from a file if you downloaded one and you can also highlight a cursor and make the size bigger and you can change the save to eclipse square rectangle or circle next up we're gonna do audio now select audio uh... just hit go to options you can either select audio not at all so it doesn't record anything and audio from microphone that'd be like what i'm doing right now talking into the microphone and audio from speakers is everything you hear in the speakers. That would be what they hear. Say you're like playing a game or something, they would hear that, as would you. So I'm just gonna keep what I'm doing, record audio with microphone. But go to audio options, and here are my audio options for the microphone. Actually, I don't really mess with the options too much. I just keep those default 22, but MP. MPEG layer slash 3 is a pretty good one, but there's another one called lame mp3 that download will be in the description also and just hit ok next up we're gonna do audio options from speakers and I would just select whatever you have, I have Sigma Tail Audio and <coughs> hit close Just I'd keep everything pretty default on the um, audio options for speakers. So, okay. So next up, we're gonna do auto pan. Auto pan is basically say you record a small part of the screen, right? Auto pan lets it will it the screen capture where the screen's at. It will follow your cursor wherever you go. So hit enable auto pan if you want that. If you want to record from a small area and 
the pan speed should be 107. That's what the good setup is. Hit OK. <coughs> okay, so now we're going to go to annotations. Annotations is a pretty good way to get your name out there if you want to do callouts and all that. I'm just going to do a banner. Hit close. Now, you can edit this by right clicking it and hitting, you can resize it. Edit the image, edit the text, and just mess around with that. But I'm not going to do that. You can also dupli duplicate those and delete them, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, okay, so this, um, go to tools, video annotations. Video annotations you can only have is say if you have like a webcam to talk to someone. See, unable to detect webcam video source. Okay, so now you're pretty much ready to record with all the settings that I have selected. So just hit the record button and record the region. And I have auto pan enabled. So, and then you want to hit stop. And then it's going to ask you to save the file, save it to wherever you'd like. I'm just going to save it to the desktop as test. Hit save. Wait for it to load. And play back your video. Okay, so basically, uh, the screen's really small if you record a small area, but it will not be like this on YouTube because the screen is a lot smaller on YouTube. So just exit out, and there you have it a full cam studio tutorial. And I really do thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more. Thank you for watching Tut PC's tutorials.